Hi you guys, Kirkland here. It's uh, December 3rd, oh, 5.45 in the evening. I'm back from the hospital. I got back on the 1st, uh, New Year's Day. I'm doing a lot better. I didn't have any brain, um, I didn't have any seizure or, or something like that. It wasn't related to my brain. I just had some crazy uh, chest virus that attacked my heart, filled it with a bunch of fluid, and they had to do an operation where they went through the side of my abdomen to drain the fluid from the heart. The danger there was that if they drained too much fluid, the heart could have collapsed on itself, so I could have died on the table. However, I didn't, and the crazy part about the whole thing was I was awake for the whole thing, and so they had like 20, pe 20 people or more watching all these different monitors and screens just making sure that the procedure was going well and they even had someone standing right next to me uh, while I was laying there wide awake. I was awake for the whole procedure. They were afraid to put me to sleep or anything so they had somebody talking to me the whole time and then after the procedure they just kept me a few more days in the hospital to help me maintain my blood pressure and temperature because my body was fighting this virus which they don't have any record of so that was unique but they knew I had the virus and they just gave me the, the fluids and the medicines I needed um, and constant constant supervision and blood tests and all that stuff to just watch me recover each day as I burned the virus and once it left my body and I was able to show that I had no temperature and my uh, my blood pressure could be maintained they let me go home and this whole time I was very lucky because my live-in caregiver who is also my partner was allowed to stay with me and be there for my mental stability and just gave me the strength to keep fighting because it was so scary because the day after Christmas I passed out and I was unconscious and um, my caregiver he found me you know slumped over in my wheelchair totally like unresponsive and lifeless and thanks to him and the efforts of the paramedics that lived down the street for me they were able to come uh, within like three to five minutes and they revived me and brought me back and I had to go to the ER three nights in a row uh, but on the third night because I was able to see my doctor beforehand she ordered a whole bunch of tests to just try to find out what was wrong because they already did a CAT scan of the brain and there wasn't, there wasn't anything wrong with the brain and then they did other things and they just couldn't find it but then they saw what my doctor wanted she wanted a CAT scan of my chest and that's what helped them find my heart was so enlarged because there was so much water surrounding my heart and uh, so if it wasn't for that test I wouldn't be here today so I owe my doctor a lot of of uh, credit for saving my life for that because it would have been missed. Um, anyways, uh, while I was in the hospital, I reached out to the DBD people and um, I told them what I was going through, showed them some pictures and stuff, and they were kind enough to r write me back and they said any days that I missed, well, uh, they would they would give me those advent rewards like the blood points and the 500 shards that were left. So, um, I haven't logged in yet, but they said the next time I logged in, I would see all that stuff. So, we're going to log in, and I'm going to play like normal, maybe like a, a few matches or something. Just long enough to check in with you guys and say hi and things. And then tomorrow is my mom's birthday, so I won't be on tomorrow. I'm going to take tomorrow off to maybe visit her gravestone and give her some flowers and just just be happy that uh you know i was able to share my life with her for as long as i could and be happy that i'm here to celebrate her birthday tomorrow so i'm really excited to be here with you guys i hope you appreciate being here with me too i hope i get to see some of you i i tried to be on a little bit later today because i know a lot of you are probably back in school now and uh anyway let's get started um before we get started though, I have no idea if these codes still work, but I want to share them with you just in case. 
I can tell you for sure that uh, Warrior Preppers and Pride 2022, they don't expire. They Both those codes will give you charms. Um, Pride 2022 should give you two charms. Warrior Preppers should give you one. And then the other ones, they were um, going on while we had the uh, Bone Chill event. So they may be expired by now. My educated guess was they expired December 31st. But I just wanted to put it out there one more time just in case they might still work. And uh, let's get started. Yeah, so a lot has been going on since I got home. Um, been going to a lot of follow-up appointments with various doctors. My primary doctor, my cardiac doctors, um, just everybody from the hospital basically who took care of me. I had to check in with them and I'm on some new medications for the heart and I will be for a while just to make sure that this um, the fluid doesn't return and I don't have the same issues all over again. They said that I should probably never ever catch this virus again. It's just one of those viruses that float around everywhere outside and it only attacks vulnerable people like me because I have cerebral palsy as well as o older people, you know. So, um, you know, it was just something crazy and uh, I give credit to the ER people because they did the best they could with the information they had. Um, you know, they thought I had the flu, but I didn't present any symptoms and they couldn't, you know, they couldn't possibly know what I had with the heart until they did the scan requested by my doctor. So I was really lucky. So, okay, I got 25,000 blood points for signing in today and then the event tome has been extended it looks like so let's see uh, it's been extended by one week it looks like I missed out on a lot so now the bone chill event will end January 11th okay and then I I don't have any um, daily challenges to claim so we'll close that and then let's go to survivor okay and I'm just gonna capture this picture really quick and I wanna play Dwight because he's my favorite if any of you are watching and you're able to play with me hey yeah I'm definitely doing better rascal um, would you like to play with me I'd be willing to wait a second if you want to log in and play a hand or a round with me I mean uh, let me see what he's using um, Yeah, I'm gonna use this one because it seems very appropriate for me. Better than new. I do feel better than I did. And leader. Uh, I was definitely a leader in getting myself together. As well as uh, my caregiver and partner and all the people that took care of me. Okay, no problem. I hope you have a great uh, hockey game and let's catch up soon, okay? I uh, hope your team wins. Uh, and then we're going to use Blast Mine so I can see, um, so others can see that I'm working on a gen as well as Wiretap just so I can see the Killer's Aura. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to look at a picture really quick. Let's see. Um, go here. Messages. Okay, so prior to logging in, I had 513,000 shards, 360. They gave me the 500 I had left, and then 
uh, it looks like the blood points, uh, I probably got what I needed, maybe. Uh, it really doesn't matter, I'm, I'm just happy to be alive, so. It's very cool that I was able to get the shards. So, let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try to reach out to you uh, whenever I'm on and hopefully we can play a game or two, so. Yeah, I'm glad too. I'm very glad. I was, I was really scared for a while. Yeah. I hope you guys had a good Christmas and New Year's. Um, I had a good Christmas and then the, the, all this craziness happened the day after. And then my New Year's, you know, I was, I wasn't really able to see out the window or anything because where my room was, uh, it was right next to another building that was right in front of the window. And then, um, I wasn't able to stay awake because I was too tired. So I slept through New Year's. I think I went to bed around 10.30 or something like that. But then New Year's Day, I was well enough to go home. So I just have to keep taking my medicines and stay on top of my follow-up appointments and just take it easy. Uh, you know, gotta retrain myself to do the the simplest of things like getting dressed and things like that. Um, I'm a little slow, but uh, I'm doing good. It was one one little task at a time and one day at a time. I, and I'm definitely being well aware of my my uh, surroundings. I got to see a beautiful sunset, um, sunrise the morning I came home. Um, I was really lucky. Yeah, a lot of people were scared because they were wondering why I wasn't streaming. But I was able to reach out to some of you, but I had to really work on, on, on myself and that was a challenge. <laughs> I was so worn out, but, but I was able to make it thanks to the help of the medicines and all the technology and the huge uh, supportive team of nurses and doctors that came and checked on me. Uh, it was like every three or four hours somebody came in there to make sure I was okay and that my fever was down and that I had all my medications I needed. Yeah. So. I had a really good dinner tonight. I had salad and some veggie, vegetarian like chicken patties. They were good. So, been eating a lot more home cooked meals now. I'm, I'm kind of afraid to go out to a restaurant and have that whole thing start again. So, just being extra careful. Wow, it seems like he's running kind of fast. Oh, by the way, I read that there's going to be another PTV coming out tomorrow and there's going to be a lot of changes to the game. And it looks like some of them are already happening because the camera seems to be more sensitive than normal. Yeah, I'm glad I'm doing okay, and uh, I tried to do my best to explain to people that I was gone. Um, I did some posts on my Twitter and my Instagram and my Facebook group and my Discord group. I tried to post something, but I, I didn't know how to post anything to... Uh, What's what's the thing? I didn't know how to post anything to Twitch because obviously I couldn't stream.
Okay, I'm gonna stay right here and mend. It's weird seeing the snowman in the RPG map. RPD, I mean. Oh, she got her first person down. This is going to be a busy match, that's for sure. Okay, I'll take the toolbox. Okay, I got they got the rescue. So I'll just keep working.
<laughs> oh, that, that was a close call there. I'm surprised she didn't find the totem yet. I have a chance to heal. Guess I'll cleanse this totem. Oh. It's a bummer that that totem went out right when I needed it. I was almost done too. See, we'll go this way. I'm gonna jump in the snowman and then fall off the ledge and see what that's like. That'll be different. Let's see if I can go save her. Take the long route. Oh, she's letting herself go. Okay.
Oh, she's letting me have hatch. Awesome. I mean, gate. Nice. What a nice killer. Oh, I got a trophy. Outbreak Breakout. That means I escaped the RPG map like 20, ti 20 times or something like that. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Let's see who I was playing with. Okay, I can message or I can't message the killer, but I'm definitely gonna add him as a friend. That was pretty awesome. And then I'm gonna go ahead and message these other two players so that I can play with them later. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, can't message him, so we'll try the Michaela. Okay, I couldn't message them either, so we'll just keep moving on. But that was pretty cool. Thank you guys for coming out to hang out with me and stuff. I really enjoyed spending my time with you. Again, I'm not sure if those codes still work, but hopefully they do. And you guys can get some frosty eyes for some of your killers. Um, yeah, I won't, I won't be posting them tomorrow, but I'll maybe post the other two, the Warrior Puppers and the uh, Pride 2022 once in a while, so at least somebody can see it and uh, get those charms. So don't forget to share your um, experience with me, with your friends and family who might play this game so they have a chance to earn cosmetics and stuff as well. So. Okay, let's go ahead and change some perks and try something different. Let's see. Um, I think I like this one. Built the last ace in the hole streetwise. And then instead of saboteur, I think I'm going to use uh, self-healing. That way if I find like a... A toolbox or something I can use that actually I'm gonna use distortion that way I can get some info whether or not the killer can see my aura at any point during the matches like if it's Michael stalking me or if it's the Wraith or um, if it's Blood Warden I can know when Blood Warden's at the end of the match so let's give that a try And then I, I like his outfit, so I'm gonna keep it the same. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here, you guys. You have no idea. I really missed uh, being able to talk to a lot of you while I was in the hospital. And uh, I, I hope I get to see a lot of you as I continue to stream. Uh, but as a reminder, tomorrow is my mom's birthday, so I'm going to use that time to reflect on the time I got to spend with her, as well as just uh, letting myself uh, have some rest and heal, because I have a long recovery still ahead of me, getting my strength back and stuff. But I just wanted to, you know, share this time with you and let you guys know I'm doing okay. And it's, and it's thanks to you guys that I'm doing okay, because... Uh, you guys motivate me, you keep me going, and uh, it's a lot of fun to hang out with you guys, so 
I really enjoy it, and I'm really thankful for you guys. Hi, Aaron. Good to see you. Um, I think I messaged you earlier this afternoon, but I can't remember. I hope you're doing well. It's nice to see you. Uh, after this match, if you'd like, we can play a game. If if you're up for it. It seems like there's some changes to the way this game is appearing. It looks like uh, more sharper, I guess. More smooth, maybe it's the right word? I don't know. But the, the snow blowing like right in front of you, that's pretty cool. I don't remember that happening. So. I'm really excited about the new changes they're making to the game. Um, I, I read it this morning, but I kind of forgot about it, but I remember being excited about it, so I can't wait. Like, I think one of the things I'm excited about is the changes they made to the status icons. Like, if somebody's working on a gen, you'll know. If somebody's being carried by the killer, you'll know. Um, if somebody's cleansing a totem, you'll know. It, it just, it's really helpful in my opinion, especially because I'm deaf and playing solo when you're deaf is not always fun. So, okay, yeah. So right after this match, just be ready to go and we'll play a game. And then I'm going to call it a night because I need to make sure I don't burn myself out too quickly. But I, I would love to play a game with you. It'd be a lot of fun. And of course, anytime I learn anything about the game, such as codes or things like that, don't forget to check my other channels on like uh, Twitch and uh, Instagram and Facebook group or the Discord group or uh, even YouTube. I, I post little clips. So, yeah. It's hard to post stuff on Twitter or Twitch in, unless you're um, streaming. So, yeah, that's not always the greatest source. And, of course, you guys can send me messages on console or any of those other platforms, and I'll do my best to share that way as well. So, oh, I like this map. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, somebody's coming. It's Wesker. Yes, I am, sir. <laughs> oh, he got me that time. I tried. They say the wiggle mechanic is going to change, too. The ores look a lot sharper on characters, too. Yeah, the game looks different. I think they made it cleaner, it seems like. Okay, I'm gonna go search, search this chest, see what I can get with my perks I'm using. Oh, my distortion kicked in. Okay, let's cleanse this totem here since we're here.
Okay, I'll go for the rescue. Yeah, it's a definite information perk. That's why I like to use it. It's so helpful. To me, it's like a low-grade spine chill, sort of. Because you can still kind of track the killer. Let's break this totem over here, too. Okay, let's see if I can go for the rescue. some healing ma'am? I guess not. Okay. I'm gonna work on this gen. Here's another totem I'll bust it first. Yep, that's for sure. Time to work on some gens. Hey, barbecue and chili went off. Okay. It's being attacked, so I'm gonna try to go for the rescue.
Okay, I'm gonna work on this tent here. Okay, we know he has barbecue, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide so I have a couple tokens left. Now I'm gonna try to go for the rescue. Take the long way. He let himself go. I guess I'll work on this gen over here. I asked him if I could do a gen and it looks like it's gonna let me, so that's cool. Sometimes good manners do pay off. Hey Aaron, you still with me? Okay, just checking. Where is she? She's over there. He can look for the hatch while I work.
It must feel good to spray yourself. <laughs> Let's grab that snowman. Just crawl out. That was a good game. Another nice killer. Okay, we'll close. Thanks. Whoops. Yeah, okay. Gonna add him as a friend. Continue. All right, Aaron. I'll just wait for you to jump on. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't played with a friend all week, so this is my first game actually all week. <laughs> Let me just look at my loadout really quick. Alright, I'm gonna do something really different this time. I'm gonna do Wings of Hope. Then I'm gonna do... Adrenaline. Then I'm gonna do, let's see, start from the beginning here. I forget what it's called. It's one of Ace's perks. I'll find it. It's the one where he's like holding four cards to uh, to give you better odds. Oh, let's see. I think I know which one it is. Let me go back. Oh wait, I found it. Oh, I'm already using it. Okay. Um, and then for the last one, I'm going to use Jeff's perk where he breaks the hook. When he gets off. It is open handed, right? No, that's the aura reading. I, I don't want the aura one. I want the other one. The, um, what's it called? Here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at Ace really quick. It's just, just so I can see it easier. Let's see. Okay, so... His perks are... Here we go. Uh, up the ante. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. You were right about that. Okay. And then Jeff's perks. Let's look at that really quick. The perk I want to use is called Breakdown. Okay, I got it now. So we'll go back here to Dwight. 
Then we'll go here. And we'll use breakdown. Probably the next page. Yeah, there it is. And then the last one up the ante. So let's see. Yep. Okay. All set. This should be fun. This is like my end game strategy. If I'm hanging on the hook and the end game starts, I use my adrenaline and wings of hope to jump off the hook and break the hook and run out the gate. <laughs> so, we'll just see how that goes. <laughs> No worries, no problem. I'm gonna look at his outfits really quick. I kinda wanna change the way he looks, let's see. I'm gonna go with Bald Dwight. And because I like pizza so much, I'm gonna wear his 8-bit pizza hoodie and keep the pants. And the creepy ginger man, gingerbread man, he can stay for now. Let's tap on that really quick. Oh, it's gonna start. Okay. Good luck, Aaron. Yeah, I forget what they call him. Let's see. They call him the Ginger Rat. But I just call him the Creepy Ginger Red Man. <laughs> I think that was a Prime Code cosmetic from, uh, from December. I wonder what this month's is gonna be. I hope it's a cosmetic. I really like cosmetics. And also, don't forget, guys, uh, if you have a laptop and you use uh, the Steel Series GG app, sometimes they release codes for Blood Points or other cosmetics. Not all the time, but sometimes they do. So if you set up an account and you set up notifications, you can actually get an email uh, letting you know that they have a code for DVD as well as other games. And you can get, you know, sometimes you can get up to like. Well, I remember when the Resident Evil chapter came out, they gave away like 400,000 blood points. I missed out on that one. But then they had another opportunity where they gave away almost 200,000 blood points, I think. And then um, they gave away a, a Dwight cosmetic, the one where he's wearing um, like camouflage pants and socks and another kind of pizza sweatshirt and something else with the head but I can't remember but it was really cool so yeah so don't forget to download that app and set up an account and set up the notification and what you know, when they have something new they'll tell you and you can check it out good luck to you too Okay. So I'm gonna go check, see if there's a basement here or a chest. No, but there's a totem, I'll go ahead and bust it. One thing I forgot to mention about my trip in the hospital, um, 
on the last day they gave me this really nice uh, pill that's shaped like a heart and it's pretty funny because on one side there's a picture of a heart so it, it, it reminds me of uh, it reminds me of the killer heart killer's heart you know being dead by daylight pretty cool And then on the other side of the heart, it just says the name of the hospital and stuff. So, I'm going to cherish that memento for a very, very long time. Because without that team of people, I wouldn't be here today. And especially without the help of my caregiver and partner. So... Oh, I'm surprised I lost her. I got lucky there. Let's see if there's a totem up here I can work on. There is. I'm gonna go for some cover. <laughs> I see somebody over there, so hopefully they can heal me. Oh, they tried to get the flashlight saved. Good try. Okay, she's going out for the injured one. So I'm gonna go for this totem first, and then I'll go for the grab. Well, that was probably a bad idea. Oh, I thought she was a lot closer. That scared me. Okay, I'm gonna count on the other two doing the rescue. and just keep working on these gens. Okay, it looks like he might need some help, so I'm gonna go for the rescue. Up. Oh. Oh, I barely escaped that mess. Okay, there's a basement here, so I'm gonna go there. I have a feeling she might have a no-ed totem or something. Hopefully not. Ooh, a winter party streamer. Hopefully I can keep it. Okay, 
And she's right over there. Okay, she's coming my way. So I'm gonna run this way. chest Just check up here, in case there's a totem or something. Go for the rescue. Hopefully Quentin doesn't get more aid. Hey, let's see if I can protect him. another case. See what's going on over here.
Well, I tried my best to save her. Lost the party streamer too, bummer. Okay. Let's see how the other two do. Yeah, I guess so. Did you live? I forget which character you were. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and add the killer as a friend really quick. Okay, Aaron, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And thanks to all you that came by to watch. And I hope that uh, we'll see you in the near future. Until then, this is Clementine's Hat and Kirkland wishing you a happy new year. See you all in the fog next time. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. I, I really appreciate it. I'll see you around. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.